thank you very much for inviting me uh, out of gdmt in heart failure with reduced ejection fractions you know heart failure is disease of many presidents of united states many celebrities and it is also a common disease for many common people in our country as we are listening to diabetes in fact the diabetic complications after the introduction of glp1 as glp2 is going down globally according to us recent data from the life insurers but atherosclerosis is still a menace obesity is a menace atrial fibrillation is a menace smoking alcohol other drugs are also a menace we are doing better and i'm sure in 2023 we'll have all 4 5 6 7 drugs the journey of heart failure with gdmt will be much better now many of these presidents did not have a chance to have this gdmt because drugs were not discovered for example 1963 john kennedy was assassinated but before that immediate past president dd eisenhower he was treated with sodbe's tube organic mercurials because it was only in 1964 the acetazolamide the first safe diuretic was introduced and there were many many uh, other theories or drugs which are toxic to human being but these drugs did not see the light of the day so we have done better and if i ask you the resurgence of acetazolamide in 2022 in heart failure has taken a front seat because it can add to the quality of life like arni beta blocker asgl2 and newer mrs like phenylalanine but since tenjing norgay took their journey in 1953 just one year before the acetazolamide acetazolamide or diamox was introduced so obviously they did not take this drug to the mount everest so 1954 then clothazide furosemide spironolactone trimetazine these have come but again we are talking about some new drugs like mra so mra has been in our mind since 1999 but hyperkalemia was an issue the menace of hyperkalemia the fear of hyperkalemia the stigma of hyperkalemia can be overcome by diet by avoiding certain drugs and replacing s inhibitor arbs with arni asgl2 has now been shown in phenylalanine trial a couple of trial that it is the least hypokalemic agent so people who has got heart failure diabetes or without diabetes if you have history of hyperkalemia aldactone or spironolactone is not the drug of choice it is an mra if you really want to use aldactone as a part of gdmt as it in as a diuretic you have to use 100 mg per day so combination of drug and gdmt means all drugs should be started slow and we should build up the dose in 4 to 6 weeks most of these drugs are having a first place in the armamentarium of heart failure so there are newer diuretics uh, in the you know armamentarium we cannot forget diuretics acetazolamide azul2 loop diuretics thiazide spironolactone tolbapten in the first few hours of heart failure so our journey starts with arni beta blocker i am repeating here the the azul mra then those who cannot tolerate or those who have tachycardia ibabradin has some data now that ibabradin if your heart rate is high you can use ibabradin you can use nitrous hydrolazine or verisuguat if your ejection fractions is less than 45% and should be started with 2.5 mg once in a day 5 mg once in a day then 10 mg once in a day this is the best drug if you have side effects like hyperkalemia renal dysfunctions liver dysfunctions and very tender blood pressure like systolic blood pressure is 80 or 90 it can be started in the icu it can be started during discharge 
when we started in the outdoor clinic. So GDMT for one drug like cyclic GMP is 10 milligram. GDMT of sacubitril valsartan is again 200 milligram twice in a day. The aprilron is 50 milligram and phenylron is 20 milligram. HGL2 is beauty is a beauty in our armamentarium because one dose once in a day, diabetic and non-diabetic, does reduce the cardiovascular mortality, repeat heart failure hospitalizations, and also protects kidney. Beta blockers, full dose like metoprolol or carbidrol or nebifolol or bisoprolol. These are the four beta blockers. But the first choice will be carbidrol because of more data. Digoxin in GDMT should not be discussed because it doesn't have much mortality benefit trial or data, but it cannot be ignored in patients who has got mitral legislations, rheumatic heart disease, valvular heart disease, and heart failure. ICDCRT, the need for this costly device, monitoring device, has come down because of introduction of HCL2, which can reduce arrhythmias, also RNA, which can reduce arrhythmias. So these drugs are now called a biochemical defibrillators, like RNA is a chemical defibrillators, beta blocker, chemical defibrillators, ACLU, DAPA, and EMPA is a chemical defibrillators because the chance of VT, VA, and arrhythmic deaths are reduced. We cannot forget certain other therapies like AHIP ablations, if the patient has got atrial fibrillations, the genetic studies, proteomics, genomics, cardiac rehabs, the vaccination should not be ignored. Salt intake should be moderate and water intake is not that important anymore with the introduction of four fabulous foundational therapy. Those who cannot tolerate these drugs or fail to respond to these drugs, transplant and artificial heart and palliative therapy are available. So we have now uniform pharma code. You have a drug democracy. And the drug democracy means all four drugs have equal rights to be the first line of drug, the first layer of drugs, once you are decongesting them with loop diuretics. The second layer is again certain drugs like umacapti, berisugat, ivabradin, IV iron. So these, part, these first four drugs should be started low with low dose in some issues like hypotension, go slow, start low. And these four fabulous drugs can give rise to prolongation of life, good quality of life of approximately 6.3 years if you start early in the course of heart failure. Now, you can use this drug even in valvular heart disease. We can start this drug in ADHA and chronic congestive cardiac failure. So, ARNI is the first line of drug. And we also know that there are newer terminology in 2021 that, that is worsening heart failure. So, worsening heart failure, one trial, is a Victoria trial, tells us that Verisugat, as I mentioned earlier, should be given as early as possible. So, I have a very low threshold of prescribing these four fabulous, fantastic drugs in the first four weeks to reduce death, hospitalizations, and bring a good quality of life. Diuresis is very important and it should be monitored. But once you have these drugs on GDMT, you can reduce your diuretic doses, which can prevent hyperkalemia, hypernatima, those issues. Now, we are also moving towards more concrete definition of heart failure with biomarkers. We are divided by ejection fractions, but united by the same pathology, sometimes like ischemic heart disease, obesity, sleep apnea, atrial fibrillations, diabetes, atherosclerosis, Indian obesity, etc., etc. So we'll have more drugs, but before that, what we have today, let us be happy that these drugs are contemporary, attractive, available solutions if you follow them in guideline-directed medical dose therapy in full doses format. When we started our life from the sea, like the fish, they live in very high sodium environment. But as you progressed, the nature, like from fish to chimpanzee to man, we developed the RAS system. So dual RAS inhibitions by MRA and ARNI is a way to go. Once you 
give diuretics which can reduce intravascular volume can activate the ras system so friends we have moved from uh, like kidney disease to cardiovascular disease neuroendocrine syndrome and uh, uh, then we have improved on the diuretic therapy but there are newer therapy which will be available and in near future the life will be better with uh, uh, new available drugs it can be given once in a day so there are some new newer therapy like subcutaneous prusamide uh, verisugard omecaptive iv iron ivabradin there are some new uh, device which can monitor these heart failure patients continuously so ladies and gentlemen to conclude today the gdmt guideline directed medical therapy starts with rehabs stopping the bad habits getting controlled their hypertension salt intake stress and then smoking alcohol sleep apnea controlling diabetes bring in their a1c on the top of that you add these four fabulous drugs plus you have to monitor these patients by which you can reduce the burden of heart failure in india and on global level with that i like to thank you for your kind attention thank you very much